If you're watching this video, you might be watching because it is number scroll week and it is on a Monday where we are going to start our number scroll project. Or you could be watching this video because you want to learn more about number scrolls or you want to create your own number scroll at home. So what we're going to do today is I'm going to show you how we do our number scroll here at Bright Futures and then we are actually going to start creating the first page of our number scroll. You can find the number scroll resources online and I'm actually going to link what I used when I was creating our Bright Futures academic packet. So if you would like the resources to make your own number scroll, feel free to look in the description box and there will be a link to a couple of different options for creating your own number scroll. If you are a Bright Futures friend and you have your packet and you're ready to get started, what you're going to want to do is open your packet to this page. This is the first page of your number scroll and it is going to be where we start today. How I'm going to start is I'm going to gently rip out just the first page of our number scroll. I am also going to get one of our tools. So for our number scroll packet, we have an information page that your family can use to read and learn a little bit more about this activity. And then you will find some number scroll pages. You're gonna find this one first, and then you will find a series of these ones without the name at the top. It actually says tape under previous page. And when we get to that next page, we're actually gonna use glue because all of our youth have been provided with glue. If you have tape, you can use tape. So as you work on your number scroll, you're going to want to get more of these ripped out. But I'm just gonna rip out the first one because that's what I'm gonna work on today. The other resource that I want to use today is I want to get out my 120 grid. This is something that I can use to help me when I'm creating the first page of my number scroll. There's going to come a point when we are adding new pages to our number scroll and there will not be any more numbers, um, number grid resources for us to look at. So when we are creating our number scroll, we are going to be paying attention to patterns we are going to be looking at the numbers that came before. That way, when we are working on this, we're developing our number sense and we are able to predict and figure out what those next numbers are going to look like. So we are going to start on our number scroll page, the first one. For this activity, I'm just gonna use my pencil. If I was going to be adding another page to my number scroll, I could use my glue stick but I don't really need my glue stick today, so I'm gonna put that back. When you are doing this activity, you can use a paper towel roll, a paper tube roll, um, to add to the number scroll first page two. I'm gonna wait until after I finish before I do this. If you would like a paper towel tube from a Bright Features teacher, let us know and we can drop them off when we're doing our Wednesday pro, um, produce deliveries and club supplies. So let's get started with our number scroll first page. I'm going to write my name nice and big right there. That way that I know it's my number scroll. We are going to begin our number scroll on this square right here. We want to start in the top left square. So that is the first square under the line. And I am going to start at the number one. If we look at our 120 grid and we look at our number scroll, we'll notice that the number one is going to be in the same spot. So I'm going to go across the top row from left to right. So in the first line, you are going to be writing the first nine digits. So we're going to start with a one, a two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We call those numbers digits. They are a symbol that refers to the amount. So the number one means that you have one thing. The number two means that you have two things. And of course the number three means that you might have three things. So the value of the digit goes up as we increase our number grid. 
Now, when we come to the end of our digits, we have nine digits, we are going to begin putting two digits together. Let's count to 10 together. We don't have 10 written yet, but we will put it at the very end of the first row of our number scroll. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Can you count with me on your number scroll? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There are nine digits on that first row. Now what we're going to do is we're going to write the number 10. The number 10 is on our number grid. The number 10 is made up of a one and a zero digit. If we look at the first line of our number grid, we can already figure out that there is might be a pattern. I want you to look at the number 10. We have a zero up here. What is the last digit in the number 10? It has a zero. So that is one pattern we are gonna see go all the way down this column, friends. We are gonna see numbers that end with the digit zero. So I'm gonna keep going. So now that I have written my first 10, I'm going to go down to the next couple of lines. I'm gonna go left to right. As soon as you get to the end, you're gonna start right back at the beginning. over in the last square in this column. So that means I either, I am missing a number. I'm going to erase my number 30. And I am going to look. So 30 should go there. 29, oh, 29 should go in this column. All of the numbers in this column end with the digit Nine, so my 29 is in the wrong spot. What number should go in this column, friends? I put my, I went 26, 27, 29. What number should end in this spot? If we're doing the 20s and they all end in the digit eight, it should be 28. I just forgot to put 28 in there. And you know what? I'm gonna make a lot of mistakes when I'm working on my number scroll. That's okay, that's what you're supposed to do. A number scroll is not supposed to be perfect. It's supposed to help you think about how the numbers are connected to one another and any patterns that we might see. When I was getting confused and I couldn't figure out why, why my numbers didn't go all the way to the end of the row, I could also look back at this resource that's in my packet and help me figure out which number Y was missing. went pretty quick when I was doing my number scroll. When you are doing your number scroll, friends, please take your time. You will not get it done in one sitting or in one day. If you do, awesome, but if not, that's okay. This is supposed to be something you work on slowly when you have time or you wanna have fun with your number scroll. Something that I wanna show you is a helpful way to check your numbers is that there are a couple patterns and things that you'll notice in the number scroll. When you go across, you're gonna see the numbers one through 10. When you go down the row, each of the numbers is gonna end in the digit that is at the top of the column. So the numbers in the column, we call this a column, friends, that start with the digit one, they should all end with the digit one. 
So I could look in my two column and all of the numbers in the column that start with the digit two are going to end with the digit two. Same with the threes, the fours, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then the zeros. All of the ones in the tens column end with the digit zero. When you come to this square right here, you will notice the number 100. And this is 10 with another zero digit. So what I wanna show you is what you're going to do, Miss Sam Mueller um, can bring you a paper towel tube if you're doing this activity next week. And I can even bring my stapler and we can actually add, when you finish your first page, we can add this. And then what you'll want to do to get started, if you want to go on to your next number scroll page, is you're going to go back to your packet. You're going to take out your page. You're going to gently rip. And then what we're going to do is where it says take care, we're going to take our glue stick. We're going to take our glue stick. We are going to glue the part at the top of the page. That says tape under. So now this has glue on it. What we're going to do is we're going to put this part on top of this. So we're going to kind of line it up. It's important that we line it up so that it's even. What we're going to do, and if we don't get it right, we can always lift it up. We're going to place it down. We want it to line up. It is very important that the columns line up. So if you notice it's looking a little crooked, you can always pull your sheet off and readjust it. When we are done with our number scroll, we are going to have written and reached the number 1,000. So I'm actually going to work on my own number scroll, friends, and I would love to see what your number scrolls are looking like. So feel free to send us pictures. We can share and post them in our Facebook group. We can put them in our monthly newsletter. And if you have any questions about specifically about this activity or um, math homework you might be working on, let us know and we, will, we are here to support you. And we can always answer questions in our Zoom meetings, over the phone, um, or even social distance visits um, in your camping chairs that we provided outside. All right, friends, until our next video.